Hello and welcome. My name is Juan Luis Polo. I'm an Associate Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. And in this video, we're going to present to you how to set up an Amazon Open Source Serverless Collection and how you can get started with the service. Amazon Open Search Serverless is an on-demand auto-scaling configuration for Amazon Open Search Service. Open Search Serverless makes it easy for you to run large-scale and analytics workloads without having to configure, manage, or scale an Open Search cluster. Serverless also takes care of undifferentiated heavy lifting or of managing indexes and shards by automatically provisioning and scaling the underlying resources to deliver fast data ingestion and query responses. Open Search Serverless keeps the same API as Open Search Service, so there is no need to rewrite the applications to interact with Serverless. And at the end, you only pay for the resources that you consumed for your workload, making it a cost-effective solution to run Open Search. An Open Search Serverless collection is an Open Search cluster that scales compute capacity based on your application's need. The Open Search Serverless collections are optimized for time series, search, or vector search use cases. An index is a collection of documents with a common data schema that provides a way for you to store, search, and retrieve your vector embeddings and other fields. And about compute capacity, with Open Search Serverless, we introduce the Open Search Compute Units, or OCUs. Each OCU comprises 6 GB of RAM, 1 virtual CPU, and 120 GB of disk for storing data. OCUs are automatically provisioned, and you can configure max OCUs, which help you control the cost. Now, let's get started with a demo about how to set up an Amazon Open Search Serverless collection. To get started, navigate to the Amazon Open Search Service console in the AWS console. And on the left pane, you can see the Manage Clusters and Serverless console. For this case, navigate to the Collections or Dashboard console under Serverless. And there, click on the button Create Collection. First thing you need to do is give your collection a name. You can optionally add a description. And for this demo, the collection is called Demo Vector Search. For the collection type, Open Search Serverless supports three primary collection types. Time Series, which is the log analytics segment that focuses on analyzing large volumes of semi-structured machine-generated data in real time for operational, security, and business insights. Then the Search Engine, which is the full-text search that powers applications in your internal networks and internet-facing applications, such as an e-commerce website search. And finally, the Vector Search Engine, which applies semantic search on ve vector embeddings that simplifies vector data management and powers machine learning augmented search experiences and generative AI applications, for example, chatbots or fraud detection. For this demo, we are choosing Vector Search as our engine. For deployment type, leave Enable Redundancy checkbox enabled if you are planning to use this collection for a production workload. For the purpose of this video, I can uncheck this box. For the security configuration, EasyCreate provides a predefined configuration for encryption, network access as a public collection, and data access policies. But we are going to choose a standard create so we can navigate through each of the steps. The first thing you can configure from the security perspective is the encryption of the data residing in OpenSearch. Regardless of what option you choose, encryption at rest is required for all serverless collections. There are two options, encrypting the data using a key owned and managed by AWS or using a customer managed key from AWS KMS. With this last option, OpenSearch Serverless gets permission to use the KMS key on behalf of the principal who makes the selection. For this demo, we are using AWS managed key. The network settings for an open search serverless collection determine whether the collection is accessible over the public internet or whether it can be accessed privately. With open search serverless, you can configure network access separately for a collection's open search endpoint and its open search dashboard endpoint. For this demo, we are going to set up the open search endpoint as private and the open search dashboard as public, so we can access the dashboard without the need of creating a proxy server. Network policies let you manage many collections at scale by automatically assigning network access settings to collections that match the rules defined by the policy. During the creation of the Open Search Serverless collection, we can define one rule. To define the Open Search endpoint as private, we are going to check the box private and then BPC endpoint for access. I need to create a new BPC endpoint. The first step is to enter a name for our BPC endpoint. Then select the BPC that you will access Open Source Serverless from. Then for subnets, select one or more subnets that you will access Open Source Serverless from. 
And finally, choose the security group to associate with the endpoint. This is a critical step where you limit the ports, protocols and sources for inbound traffic that you are authorizing into your endpoint. Make sure that the security group rules allow the resources that you will use the VPC endpoint to communicate with open source serverless. Now we can click on create endpoint and we can select the VPC endpoint that we just created in our drop down menu. We have to find a network access policy rule for the open search endpoint. And after creating the collection, we are going to enter a new network access policy rule to give public access to the open search dashboards. Now we can click on next. And this step is to define data access policies. You can manage access permission through data access policies, which apply to collections and index resources. Data access policies help you manage collections at scale by automatically assigning access permission to collections and indexes that match a specific pattern. Also, multiple data access policies can apply to a single resource. You can create a data access policy using the visual editor or in JSON format. In the rules, we can define the data access level for each principle. For each rule that you create, perform the following steps. First, choose Add Principles and select one or more AIM roles or SAML users and group to provide data access to. For this demo, we are using the Admin IAM role. Next, under Grant Permissions, select the alias, template and index permission to grant the associated principles. Since I want the admin to have a full set of permissions, I'm checking every box. Additionally, you can continue adding rules if you need a different sets of permissions for different users or roles. Let's go ahead and click on Next. And in this step, you can choose to attach the rules that you just defined to an existing data access policy or create a new data access policy with a new name and description. In my case, I'm creating a new data access policy with the name Policy Vector Search since I don't have any other data access policy created. Now let's click on Next. And this is the review step, where you can review all the collection details, including encryption, network access, and data access, everything that we just defined. Finally, let's click on Submit to create the collection. It should take around five minutes to have the collection up and running. After a few minutes in creating a status, you will see that the status has changed to active for our new collection. Let's scroll down and click on the Open Search dashboard endpoint to see what happens. As we haven't specified any network access policy for dashboards endpoint, is not publicly accessible. To fix this, let's go back to the collection dashboard and click on Manage Network Access. Select a policy called auto-name of your collection and then click Edit. If we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we will be able to click on Add New Rule. In this new rule, we are going to select Access Collection from Public and Resource Type Open Search Dashboards. Also, select the collection that we are applying this rule to, and finally click on Update. After a minute, go back to the Demo Collection dashboard and do the same process to access the Open Search Dashboard's endpoint. This time, you will have access to the Open Search dashboard that will open on a new tab. Additionally, I want to mention that the update we made to the Network Access Policy is reflected on the Collection dashboard. You will see both private and public access types and both open search endpoint and open search dashboard reflected on it. This concludes the creation of the vector collection. Now you can ingest your vector workload and build semantic search applications. In the next video of this series, I will demo how to ingest data into the vector collection. Hope you liked this video and thank you so much for watching.